Enlightenment is like being sober. Good morning, this is Chris speaking, Shores of Infinity, with a video about what is enlightenment, what can we compare enlightenment to, and it's definitely not, unfortunately, I have to say, it's definitely not what is being propagated by most gurus. Recently I feel more and more like some kind of incarnation of UG, UG Krishnamurti, who, whose only message basically was that the information we have about enlightenment is quite wrong. It's not some kind of supermanhood or superwomanhood. It's not like in the Matrix where at the end of the first movie he flies off into the sky. No. You will not become Superman or Iron Man or Superwoman, Hulk or whatever superhero. Of course, there are some cities, but they are not about power. That is the big misunderstanding. Our culture is so much about power that we think, okay, enlightenment must be something very powerful. It's not about power. It's like being sober, sober for the first time in your life after a life of alcoholism and drug abuse, of being drunk and inebriated and addicted and brainwashed all of the time, and then suddenly you wake up from this slumber, from this drug haze, and suddenly everything is clear. It's the end of confusion, the end of delusion, the end of illusion. It's the other way around. It's not that is somehow better or higher, the state of consciousness, but is you get rid of all this baggage that dragged you down and made you feel like drowning all the time. This desperation is suddenly gone because all these weights are gone. You're coming from running around like a headless chicken to the actual healthy state of human adulthood. I like this term of Jed McKenna, human adulthood. Yeah, you're coming out of this uh, juvenile hormone craze into some kind of adulthood with reason. Not reason like uh, logic, but actually... You see the world for what it is reasonably, without all kinds of filters and glasses and tints and optical illusions and other illusions. It's very sobering and it's also anticlimactic. It's not as great and grand and wonderful and musical and dramatic as you might think based on all the stuff you have read and heard. It's very neutral. It's coming away from drama to a neutral stillness spot. It's like all the ruckus, all the noise suddenly stops and is completely still and silent. But it's not beautiful and heaven-like. As I said before, there are no choirs of angels singing. It's just silent. It's peaceful. It's the end of longing. The end of feeling that there's something missing. That there's something wrong. So it's not like something is added. It's like all kinds of stuff has fallen away. Which turns out to have been superficial in the first place all along. Superficial and superfluous. There was much ado about nothing, to quote Shakespeare. So, that's why I say enlightenment is like being sober. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Thank you to all my patrons. Thank you for joining me as a patron. Thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing the videos with your friends. And see you soon.